I'm John Mitch, the Municipal Clerk for the Township of Woodbridge. I'm here today to talk to you about the upcoming general election, which will be held on November the 3rd, 2020. The election will be conducted similar to the primary election that was held this past July, with limited locations, and primarily by mail-in ballot. All this due to the ongoing pandemic. To be eligible to vote, you must be an active registered voter. If not, you must register no later than October 13th. And you can do so either at my office, the Municipal Clerk's Office at Town Hall, or one of our local libraries. You must be at least 18 years of age and have been a resident of New Jersey for 30 or more days. Every voter in this election will receive a mail-in ballot from the county clerk beginning September 23rd up to October the 5th. Every voter will receive a notification in the month of October of their designated polling place in the event they want to go in person to cast their ballot. This notification is in lieu of a sample ballot. If you want to view it before you receive the ballot, you can go to middlesexcountynj.gov slash vote 2020 or to the township's website at www.twp.woodbridge.nj.us. Mail-in ballots can be completed in the comfort of your home. When finished, you have options of how you can return them. One, you can use the United States Postal Service. Two, you can drop them off here at Town Hall at a drop box, which is open now and will continue to remain open until 8 o'clock on November the 3rd. Three, you could drop it at the County Board of Elections. Or four, you can drop it off on election day only at the ballot box at your specific voting place. If you use your designated voting place, you can only bring your ballot as you will have to sign a drop off log so that your signature can be compared to the signature you already have on file in the voter's book. If you have ballots from anybody else, any friend, family member, or neighbor, you'll be referred to the drop box at Town Hall where no signature is required or to the post office as long as it's postmarked by eight o'clock election night. We will have limited polling places. There'll be 11 this year for this election. They'll all be open from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. If you go to vote in person, unless you attest to having a disability, the majority of you will be provided a paper ballot or a provisional ballot, which is the same as the one that you'll get at your home. Again, the machine on site is only for those voters who attest to having a disability that prevents them from completing a paper ballot. If a voter happens to go to their usual voting location and it is not being used for this election, there will be a sign providing a phone number to call to find out where to go. One of the reasons for the limited amount of polling places is due to the cleaning efforts before, during, and after the election, as well as a limited amount of poll workers who are looking to work during these times. So let's get back to that mail-in ballot. Because your vote counts, here is how you should handle it. The ballot will come to you in the mail. It'll have an inner envelope, it'll have an outer envelope, and along with the ballot. Fill out your ballot, place it inside the inner envelope. That's the one that has a detachable flap, for lack of a better term. Do not rip off that flap. The flap is a certificate which you need to sign. That signature is used to match your signature on file at the county. When verified, the county removes that certificate and your sealed envelope with the ballot still inside moves along in the process to be counted. The person eventually removing your ballot will not see the certificate, so they have no idea whose ballots they're handling. Frankly, at that point, your ballot is anonymous to the worker. If your signature does not match, the county will reach out to you about curing it in an effort to have that vote count. Despite rumors, all ballots are counted, whether they are cast on the machine, on paper on election day, or through a mail-in ballot. As a caution, however, if you do receive more than one mail-in ballot at your home for other members of your household, do not mix up the envelopes that they are, as they are barcoded to match the certificate. Since many of you will not be voting on a machine, I recommend you complete your ballot at your home, again at your convenience. Then you can decide what option you will take. Again, whether you're going to mail it in the postal serve, through the postal service or drop it at a drop box or bring it back on election day at your specific polling location. We ask that you, if you are going to a polling place, that you please wear a face covering as rooms will be set up to follow social distancing protocols. 
poll workers will don face coverings and they'll also be wiping down periodically all touch surfaces in an effort to protect you and them. In closing, I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions about the process or the conduct of the election, please call the County Board of Elections at 732-745-3471. Or if you have any questions concerning the ballot, please call the County Clerk at 732-745-8642. I hope that you have no issues on Election Day, and I thank you for your time.